life and in my ski skating career for so long. I actually was here on Saturday. Um, I put my skates on for the first time since November 21st when I crashed and hurt myself last year. And for a tiny nanosecond, as I put my feet into my boots and they felt like slippers and I stepped onto the ice and it like was like I'd never been off the ice. I had this thought, oh my goodness, I need to cancel this right now. <laughs> I had cold feet for about one tenth of a second, um, but not about um, retiring. I never thought I'd have to um, have a press conference. I really never did think I would do this, um, but it turns out there's some pretty good reasons um, to be clear about why I would like to make this announcement and um, to thank so many of you for being a part of my um, career. I'd like to apologize as well to some of the media who have made requests in the last uh, few weeks as I've politely blown you off. I'm really sorry that I did that. <laughs> I wasn't quite ready to, uh, to talk about this publicly, but um, I'd like to thank everyone so much for being here. It's obviously no surprise that we're here today um, to talk about my career. The time has come for me to retire from competitive speed skating. Today is about the celebration of a long and amazing career for me and also a time to look forward to pursuing new challenges. I plan to con continue with public speaking, volunteering with charities, writing, and some more environmental advocacy work. When I think back about my career over the last 22 years, I think of a few things that stand out. Uh, most importantly, I think I had a lot of hard work in my body. <laughs> I uh, started this sport as a young, skinny, awkward kid without a lot of uh, obvious talent. Um, but the one thing I did have was the ability to work really hard. And I think some, that's one thing that characterizes my career over the last uh, 23 years is simply how hard I was able to work and how hard I wanted to work. I had an unbelievable amount of patience uh, as an athlete. It took me so long to get from where I started to where I ended up. I actually remember listening to the commentator um, on TV after the first Olympic medal at our uh, first World Cup medal I ever won, which was in 2004 in, in Norway, and uh, we were watching it on TV after the fact, and this is uh, seven years after I started World Cups, and he said, you have to wonder if Christina ever thought this moment would happen. <laughs> I'm kind of offended, actually. <laughs> um, but I also think about so many outstanding moments that I had in my career, without a doubt, um, one of the biggest highlights for me was the 2008 World Single Distance Championships in Nagano, Japan. I skated in five events there. I won my first World Championship, and I won a medal in every single race that I competed in. That is a feat that has yet to be repeated and has never been done before, so my one little claim to fame on that part. I think about the four Olympic medals that I won, the World Single Distance Championships in 2009, where I won the 1500, although I got disqualified because I kicked the puck. That was a highlight. Not the disqualification, but the winning the race. Um, I finished with three World Cup titles in the 1500 meter and so many other amazing races. Um, I also think about the bad races that I had, and there were probably as many or more <laughs> bad races than there were good races, but um, you can't expect every race to be awesome. So uh, I even think back to the very first race that I won, which I think, I can't remember the year, it was either 1990 or 1991, the North American Age Class Championships in Lake Platte, New York. And uh, I think this is actually the first race I ever won. Um, and that was the first time I realized that I even wanted to win or could win or thought I had the potential to win. And um, ultimately, that's what sport is about. It's about winning. Um, I always wanted to win. But over the last few years, in particular, I found myself gravitating towards a different philosophy where uh, winning a race or um, you know, being at the top of the podium wasn't something that I focused on or that I sought out, but instead looked for a feeling that I could get in my races. And uh, that was ultimately what motivated me all these years, was simply trying to be the best possible skater. And that feeling that I had in those races where I just nailed it was really addicting. Because of that, it never really occurred to me that I wouldn't want to do this anymore. But the fact is, that little urge to win that's been there for so long has just slowly faded away in the last year. And it doesn't mean I don't love speed skating anymore. I will love the sport until the day that I die. And I think I'll probably do it until the day that I die, but simply not at the highest level. It was a hard truth for me to accept that this had faded away. Um, but ultimately, my heart is full. There's nothing else I feel like I want to accomplish in this sport. Um, looking back.
back in my career, I've done so many things that I never thought I would do. And even though I love everything about speed skating,